We are releasing ISAG SDK 2019.3 and we have three new exciting features inside ISAG SDK. We have more camera-based perception algorithms, we have a new simulation environment based on Unity 3D, and we increased our capabilities to connect to other toolkits. We changed our object detection algorithm to a ResNet-based deep neural network, and you can train that with a transfer learning toolkit, and all of that is integrated into the ISAG SDK now. So it's very easy to train a new model, to add new objects to it, and then have a really high-performance deep neural network running on your robot. In terms of simulation, we now have a full package which we release with ISAG SDK, in which you can just drop into your Unity 3D environment, and it gives you the ability to build your own simulator based on ISAG SDK. And we're using simulation for multiple things. For example, to train deep neural networks. So normally when you train a deep neural network, you need an enormous amount of data to make it really robust, because you need to find all these rare cases in which you want it actually to behave very well. And so with simulation, you can just recreate these rare cases in the simulation environment directly and ingest this into your training pipeline and train the neural network on both real data and simulated data. Another thing which is new with ISAC simulation is multi-robot simulation. We have multiple robots inside the simulation environment and they all run their own version of the ISAC navigation stack. But they all share the same physical environment. So if one robot moves from here to here and the other robot wants to move from here to here, they might cross paths and so you can analyze how does the navigation stack actually behave in these kind of situations. Another new addition to ISAC is the DeepStream SDK. And DeepStream SDK is a technology we developed here at NVIDIA for video processing. You can now connect all kinds of different cameras, take the video stream, process the video stream, and then use this video data inside your robotics application. In addition, we also have a new C API as part of ISAC SDK. And the C API allows you to hook up your own software stack to ISAC SDK. So you don't have to convert everything to Bazel, but you can just use the features of ISAC SDK via the C API. That opens up, of course, using ISAC SDK features also in other languages. And as usual, all the new features are mentioned in the documentation, there are new samples and tutorials around it, so it should be really easy to try them out and get into it.